Good afternoon. I am Councilmember Helen Rosenthal. My pronouns are she, her, hers, chair of the Committee on Women and Gender Equity. Today, the committee will vote on Resolution 978, sponsored by my um, new colleague, who is already kicking it, hitting it out of the ballpark, Councilmember Farrah Lewis a resolution calling upon Congress to pass and the President to sign the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2019. I want to welcome my colleagues, uh, Majority Leader Cumbo, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Lewis, Councilmember Ayala, Councilmember Ben Kalos, and at this point turn it over to Councilmember Lewis uh, for a statement about her resolution. Councilmember? Good morning, everyone. I'm here today, um, today to ask for all of your support on Resolution 978, which calls upon Congress and the President to reauthorize the Violent Against Women Act. I am a survivor of domestic abuse. Um, as a survivor, I can tell you firsthand that the resources tailored to survivors, such as the Family Justice Center, is not just a public institution or a place for services, but it is a lifeline for people that feel hopeless, um, and it is a place of refuge. So by passing this resolution, we're paving the way for survivor-centered justice and life-saving legislation. Every year, the needs around domestic and gender-based violence become more and more apparent as we continue to give space to survivors to speak and to heal. In New York City, those needs are definitely urgent. When we review crime uh, ComStat, the stats that NYPD show us um, every year shows us that crime rates in New York City have declined. However, in the past 10 years, we see the number of domestic violence-related homicides have increased. The NYPD responded to over 250,000 domestic incident reports in 2018 alone. So I am hopeful that the reauthorization of this bill will only lead to further efforts to prevent gender-based um, violent crimes through justice reform, education for the public, grants that will provide invaluable resources to survivors through initiatives like the Family Justice Center. I definitely want to thank today all committee members for being here and for considering this essential re resolution, and I definitely want to thank Brenda, Chloe, and Monica for your hard work on this resolution, and it definitely is an honor to advocate for survivors of domestic and gender-based violence, especially if it means that we can equip them, as well as the general public, with the tools to ensure that we see a reduction in domestic abuse, sexual harassment, and all gender-based violence in our lifetime. Thank you. Thank you very much, Council Member. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Council Member Ayala. This is really important stuff. And as I've said before, domestic and gender-based violence represent serious and complex issues that can affect any New Yorker. Regardless of identity, women, men, transgender, gender non-conforming individuals of every race, religion, culture, and status are impacted. These acts of violence are constituted of power dynamics that reflect greater trends in our society which disproportionately harm the most vulnerable and marginalized among us. At a time when women's rights and gender-based violence are becoming increasingly partisan issues, resolution number 978 would reauthorize VAWA and also include, among other things, protections for transgender individuals and a provision that would prohibit it, those convicted of certain misdemeanor charges from purchasing firearms. I commend Councilmember Lewis on this very important resolution, of which I am co-prime uh, sponsor, and I congratulate her on her first piece of legislation as a member of this body. It's a great one. I'd also like to thank Marisa Mock, my Chief of Staff, my former Legislative Director, Ned Terrace, as well as the committee staff for their work in preparing for this hearing and working on the legislation. Brenda, Brenda McKinney, Council, Chloe Rivera, Legislative Policy Analyst, and Monica Peppel, Financial Analyst. Finally, I want to acknowledge, uh, but we have already acknowledged all committee members present. Billy Martin, you can call the roll. Lee Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote, Committee on Women and Gender Equity, Resolution 978, Chair Rosenthal. I vote aye. Cumbo. 
Permission to explain my vote? Thank you. I want to thank uh, Councilmember Lewis for utilizing um, a very personal and private matter that impacted you to inspire um, the legislation that we are voting on here today. And I really want to thank all of my colleagues because the climate in Washington, D.C. would almost make one think that the timing of a resolution such as this would go on deaf ears. But it's so important for us to continue to raise these issues, to talk about these issues, to champion these issues at a time when women are the most vulnerable in this country that they ever have been. Um, in terms of many of the changes um, that are happening in Washington, D.C., and the energy that continues to erode much of the progress that women have made for centuries. So we have to continue to fight. This resolution does exactly that. I thank you for taking your pain and turning it into a purpose, and I proudly support this resolution, and I vote aye. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote. Congratulations to uh, Councilmember Lewis for moving so quickly and putting in a resolution even amidst uh, your uh, campaign. Uh, it is strong leadership. This sad fact is that one in five homicides in New York City uh, is domestic violence related and we as a city and a country knew, need to do better. Uh, I'm proud to vote in favor of resolution number uh, 978 and uh, believe I should already be on the resolution but will request that I be added. I vote aye. Lander. Request permission to explain. Um, every day in this country there just seems like some new atrocity from the White House or the federal government. How it is that we have to be pleading to renew the Violence Against Women Act at this point in our nation's history like, we should not let that be normal. Um, it is appalling that it should have to be renewed at all, that it should be a doubt whether it is going to be renewed, um, and that women, um, like our newest colleague, have to bear their pain in public as part of advocacy to get what should just be a simple and basic human right. So my respect to you for your leadership, to the chair, to the majority leader, to all the women who have found the courage to tell their stories and demand justice and my sorrow and apology that here we are at this moment in our country where it is still required. A vote aye has to be added as a co-sponsor to the resolution. Thank you. Ayala. I proudly vote aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the resolution has been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much. I uh, neglected to thank um, our, our uh, Soon to be interim and our interim and in training council, Jayseri Ganapati, uh, who will be stepping in when uh, our council, Brenda McKinney, um, uh, brings some joy into the world. So uh, thank you for your help, Jayseri. Thank you for taking the time to really uh, engage with the committee. I'm really looking forward to continuing to work with you. And at this time, the hearing is closed. <laughs>